we've just run a series of tests, the centrifuge and the wet flex, and if everything passes, we're good to go. We're good to go. They get a report with my stamp of approval. All right, well, that's a good stamp to get. Um, if there is, however, a failure, what's next? Okay, so say we had a centrifuge failure. Yeah. I would carefully cut the booty out, and the first thing I would do would be test it on this machine. And this machine is called our booty test machine. Okay. And how it works is we clamp the booties in and we fill them with air and then we submerge them into the tank. So I just have a demo here to show you what a failure would look like. If you see on this booty to I the right. I see air coming out of a little hole. So it's a rapid release bubble yep. um, stream of air. So this would be a failure. So on this booty, you see that there are some air bubbles, but they're staying attached. Yeah. So that would be a good booty. So that one's working. And so that would indicate where that hole was. And so then we would want to go back and figure out why was that hole made? Yes. Okay. I would determine what I think would happen, um, why it failed. Like if they stretched it too far on the, yeah. the last or they dropped something on it causing um, a hole. And that's where your expertise really comes in. You've seen it all. Yes. So you're able to give that advice back and then make adjustments. So if they need to make an adjustment, how, how, is that, how is that done? So after they get a report listing all the failures, we ask them to resubmit. Uh -huh. And within probably two to three weeks, they'll make another pair and they'll oh, wow. resubmit a pair and we'll go through all the testing again. again. We right. just don't go through the one that failed. We start from testing from the one beginning. and go through yeah, for everything. Yeah, sure, because it's a whole new process.